Hi friends, this tutorial I will teach how to make a client and server login in Windows applications. So I already I have a three forms, one is login, one is client form, one is server form. So I will ne I need to uh, design first login form. So first I am stopping the recording uh, while I am design, after that I continue the recording. Hi guys, I created a login form. This is a text box one. This is text box two. This is a combo box. This is a link link uh, label. This is username and password. This is a, my login form here. I have a server form. I created just a change a background color and I have a, this is server label and this is a username. You will trigger here. Uh, same like client also client and the username will be triggered here so now i am going to login form i rewrite i need to create a database here <coughs> so uh, just i am clicking the connect database and put a server name is dot or else you have to put your computer name here I'm um, just you have using express edition then you have to uh, put slash and uh, SQL expression here dot slash and SQL expression here now I need to create a database so I'm creating a login database login and click OK so database is doesn't have the database so here you need to attempt to create it okay just I'm put the S so my database will be created here this is my database name is login inside your login i have created uh, i'll try i'm trying to create a database here so uh, add new table so here user name backup was <coughs> I need to put the username as a primary key set primary key so just on control S I am creating a ln underscore table this is my table ln means login table and consider it is a login table so i have a uh, three field two field so i need to add one more field type so back and put once again i save the put once again so one more thing I will show you once you say changing your database structure it will show any errors that time you have to go to uh, design uh, sorry uh, tools option yeah database tools data table and table design you have to tick prevent saving changes that require table recreation option uh, default is check you have to recheck this check then then only you didn't get any any warning message or error message uh, saving that time okay so now i am saved i um, created the database table is successfully now i need to um, add two table here sorry two button here one button is login and one more button is cancel so select both uh, button and click same size so it will be same size here so both selected now I am just okay. I put button one is cancel, and this button is login. 
what I'm do just uh, double click here. Here I'm using to write using system dot data dot SQL client here. So here I'm uh, using SQL connection C O N equal to new SQL connection. So just go to SQL Server Explorer and uh, database uh, here and connection sync just copy the connection sync control A and control C inside the connection sync just double quote here to paste it control V any errors comes in I have to put the hard sign here so now I need to uh, log in those records so I am using SQL uh, data adapter SDA equal to new SQL data adapter so here okay here I am writing select count star so the beginning purpose I am changing to 130 percentage because you will view clearly so that's why I am changing the size to big and SQL count from table name ln underscore t a b e l table where user name equal to text box one dot text plus and w or a password equal to text box two dot text and <coughs> no need type I think and just put the comma C O N connection I need to put the connection here so we are here no need to show the error so I am using data table D T D T equal to new data table so here variable name you have to give, submit any variable name dtr xyz you have to anything you have to put it here i am choosing sda dot fill dt okay <coughs> so uh, here i am put if dt dot rows to string zero not one so here I need to get type here okay so what I do is uh, perfectly run and then you have to uh, get the record here okay now I'm what I do I need to pass the values once again I copy those things control C and control V here yeah, I'm changing one and one and one and one here I am getting the record is type so username password and connection is right then <coughs> if copy those record and control V here change it to 1 
equal to sum of else or else just copy those lines and paste once again because here I am changing client ok now I am going to table here show table here I am typing username admin and password 1,2,3,4,5,6 and type server here here this password one two three and type client here so I have a two user one admin and one second one uh, one more is this password admin is one two three four five six and the password is client okay now I am <coughs> changing to words so in go to server X solution explorer I have a login form and client form and server form. so server then I need to trigger server form so server ss equal to new server ss dot show show this dot hide so you have to put before that is better I think control X enter and control V same like just time copy control C and control V and changing only client client okay now I need to run before the run I am just so uh, client so I have the one combo box also so I am just choosing this combo box into and type equal to combo box one dot text <coughs> just I'm changing those lines now I need to put the D uh, need to run just click the run so it's showing error so what is the error because I'm changing the program field to which this first run so I'm just choosing login <coughs> now I'm just running the programs so login is running I'm writing the admin admin password 1 2 3 4 5 I think 5 so you have to check I forget the password right now <laughs> just I'm going to server explore and click show database so password 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and type so I didn't use anything type here so I'm just close here and go to login design and click here the small icon there is a small icon here choose and edit item here I'm typing server and client once again run so here username I'm typing username is uh, admin password 1 2 3 4 5 6 and type I'm choosing server and click login so we login successfully in a server okay
and I'm, uh, once again I disable the program and click here sys and password 123 I am choosing client here click login so client form will be come ok I am changing little bit also <coughs> so here client section and double click the form here I am choosing string user so I have a label called user right just properties you have to see label called user just and copy those text also and control V code <coughs> here label to dot text equal to and control V and little face plus user same thing just I am copying those things and go to client server section and view code here I am using string user inside a user I am just paste those line and control S so you have to see the login form it will show the error here because here didn't post anything so I just copy uh, username right so username which text box I am typing the username text box 1 you have to see the text box 1 is ok now what I am do here post the parameter text box 1 dot text same like client also I am passing text box 1 dot text now I control S and run the program so because because weaving purpose I minimize the program program and I put the login admin and password 1 2 3 4 5 6 and type equal to server and click login so we get the username here ok same thing I am what I am do I need to pass the client also so just run those program once again and I may enter the code like uh, enter the code uh, sys and password 1 2 3 and choose a client and click login so we get the username is sys ok guys we will meet our next tutorial bye see you later